The National Prosecuting Authority says efforts to extradite the two men arrested in Eswatini in connection with the murders of Keenan, um, a.k.a. Forbes, and Dibelo Tips Mutwane are formally underway. Brothers Siabonga and Malusi Dimande were detained in the kingdom last month, days before the police in KwaZulu-Natal confirmed the duo's arrest and that the five others on this side of the border. The Durban Magistrates Court began hearing the bail application of a five accused yesterday. Joining us now is the Eswatini government spokesperson, Alfius Ngomalo. Alfius, good morning and thank you so much for making time for us. Edward, good morning to you and to your viewers. I want to start off here. Um, there was the extradition protocol that was signed by the heads of state from the various SEDEC countries back in October 2002. And one of the details that they give there is in terms of a request, when a request for an extradition is made, is that the documents must be submitted to the formal diplomatic channels and directly between the ministries of justice or any other authority designated by the state parties. With that said, has the NPA now filed papers with the Eswatini government with regards to this extradition? Yes, we wouldn't uh, at this point in time, as we have uh, rightly fully artic articulated, uh, that the extradition protocol of SADC uh, does allow countries to extraditize suspects amongst themselves in order to lessen and uh, decrease the level of crimes within this, uh, the community. However, uh, to come direct to your question, uh, we wouldn't know at this stage if uh, uh, the NPA have submitted uh, that application to, uh, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs in the Republic of South Africa. However, we do know that on our side, we haven't yet received uh, such a, a, a request and an application which argues then, therefore, for the reasons why the matter has to be postponed uh, in the magistrate court in the Kingdom of Eswatini this week. Yeah. Is, is that normal, um, Alphys, that there would be such a delay when it comes to the extradition? But we do understand, of course, there are complexities involved in it. Um, Eswatini itself has also made some extradition applications of some people that you've accused of crimes um, in Eswatini. But is it normal for the process um, to pan out this way? Uh, it does. It, it is normal, uh, uh, particularly because uh, the, the government of the Republic of South Africa at cabinet or at uh, executive level has to satisfy itself that all the documentation that are being presented by NPA to them do meet all the requirements as identified uh, by the SATAC protocol and on extradition. Uh, there is no one that wants to uh, kickstart a process and only to be uh, uh, bottleneck in between. So I think if the NPA have submitted the application already to the Foreign Minister of the Republic of South Africa, yes, it will take some time. It will be a process. There will be some legal, uh, legal opinions within the, 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 the foreign affairs that will have to look at the document, familiarize themselves again with the contents and requirement of the SATAC protocol and extradition before they actually forward the same uh, through uh, our High Commission office in Pretoria, which will then ensure that it lands in the hands of the government of Eswatini through the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And then in that way, we proceed and take that application to the magistrate court. It is a process. It's not a document that can be done overnight. And of course, you would expect that even the document is just right in order. It will have to go through certain uh, 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 procedures within the minutes in terms of uh, uh, being endorsed and rectified by certain authorities before it is uh, taken to where it's supposed to go. Yeah. When this process was triggered last month with the arrest of the Ndimande brothers, was there any information that the Eswatini government had requested from the South African government? Definitely uh, nothing. There was no information that was required by our government from the government of South Africa. As you may know, that even the government of South Africa in this case is the only country that is applying for the extradition of these suspects. It's different when the two countries are uh, requesting to, uh, to extradite the same suspects. As the protocol, the SADAC protocol points out, uh, uh, certainly, that if a case or a situation like that is obtainable, then it is within the arresting 
government or the government that is keeping the suspects that will then make a consideration and a determination and a decision as to which country they decide to hand the suspects to. And that decision, after it has been made, it then informed the other country mm -hmm. as to what actually uh, went into, what factors filtered into the decision that he has taken. In this case, uh, there is absolutely no information that we require from the Republic of South Africa because they are the only uh, applicants in, uh, that wants to uh, uh, receive these suspects. Yep. The only thing that we are waiting for as we also uh, mentioned in our previous interview with News, News Africa, is to receive the extradition application from the Republic of South Africa, and then we take it from there. Yeah. Um, let's start with um, how this process was triggered as well, and that is with the arrest of the Ndimande brothers. And we understand that the initial arrest was on the basis that they were contravening the immigration laws of the kingdom of Eswatini. They didn't have the necessary documents to be in the kingdom. Um, why is it that the Eswatini government has decided to rather wait for the extradition process instead of uh, deporting them back to South Africa? That is a request that has been presented uh, by the NPA. Uh, after the Wazulu Natal police uh, have done an investigation to the suspects and assisted uh, and, and, uh, with a, and presented a request to our police officers to assist them to arrest the suspects. So it was not just only a question of arresting them for having contravened uh, the immigration laws. Uh, there was a request from the South African side that they have uh, actually being suspected to be part and parcel of the criminals or the suspect that have killed uh, AK and his friend. Yep. So I think from that point of view, uh, the case escalated to or took another dimension. Uh, in that particular situation, we then have to wait for uh, the processes of uh, the extradition in order for the people, because the suspects, when you do an an extradition, they are also, through their legal representation, make their own demands. Mm. Uh, for instance, if, it, if, if they would have just said, no, we don't have a problem, extradite us, the, the magistrate will issue uh, an order through consent immediately and send it. Uh, this one, we, we, we also know that they have presented certain uh, demands in court that they would not want to be handed over to the South African police, but directly to the Correctional Service of South Africa. However, your question is, uh, why not? Why, why the government of Eswatini did not continue with that um, uh, process of charging them for contravening the immigration law? No, there was then now an added impetus in terms of the request that was yep. presented by the South African Police Service. Does that mean that the Eswatini government was informed by the South African government or by the South African Police, for, uh, police Service? that there are two suspects in the country that they are looking for and that would have triggered the arrest but not necessarily that the Eswatini kingdom actually picked up that there definitely. are two people in the country who are undocumented definitely that is how the whole investigation which led to the suspect's arrest was triggered okay um let's then quickly speak about those demands that you are that you're making reference to would the Eswatini government be able to do that uh, considering that they are saying that, listen, we fear that we could be attacked, we could be assaulted by the South African Police Service. We would rather, if the extradition application is successful, be handed over directly to correctional service officials. That is not within the premise of the domain of government to decide. It is the court that will uh, make that determination and pronounce accordingly. Yeah, but would the Swatini government be able to, to, to see that through, though? Definitely, if the courts have, have decided that, I'm, I'm definitely sure there will be a cooperation enough between the two uh, national services to ensure that the, court, the, court, the, the order of the court is implemented without any disturbance. Okay. Let's quickly speak about another application. This is an extradition application that the Eswatini government has uh, brought um, for the extradition of the editor of uh, Swaziland News, Zueli Martin Lamini. That application being filed in the province of Mpumalangaye in South Africa. How far is that application? The matter is still pending in court in the Republic of South Africa. At this given time, what we do know is that uh, uh, Zueli Mart at some point 
divorced his uh, 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 legal representation for one reason or the other. And uh, it's only uh, during the 26th appearance in the court where he came with new attorneys to represent him. Uh, so we do know that the matter is returning to court uh, next week. So we are also waiting for the determination and the pronouncement of the court in the Republic of South Africa in as far as the government request is concerned in that particular case. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Alfius Ngumalo is the spokesperson for the Eswatini government. This is on the extradition application that is still to be brought, the papers that is, uh, from the NPA to extradite the two Ndemande brothers who are linked uh, to the murder of AKA as well as his friend Dibelo Tips Mutwane. And that brings us to the end of that conversation. Let's